Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I will be doing another K-Beauty review and this is for Some By Me's Yuja Niacin Brightening Sleeping Mask. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of my video. You're gonna hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell to be notified every single time I do upload a new video. All my social media accounts are in the description section, so do check that out. Um, I got this because I really, really love Some By Me. Um, I loved their AHA, BHA, PHA Miracle line. Um, I, so I, I thought, you know, why not give this a shot after I tried that line? Um, I got so excited when I saw this because there's not really a ton of items in this particular line. There is the peeling gel, the toner, the serum, and this one, I think. So not really a lot, um, because it doesn't really come in its own moisturizer. This is just a sleeping mask, which is the last thing that you put on. Um, I, when I use this, I re, I noticed right away the next morning, my face is like glowing. And, um, like I said, I was overly excited and I probably just like skimmed through and made sure like I wasn't allergic to anything, but didn't really read a ton about it. I just wanted to try it out. Um, so supposedly it's supposed to help with like blemish and things like that but it really didn't i don't think it did do that what i think it did was lighten my skin what i think um what i've noticed it does what it did what made my skin very very um luminescent glowing very bright very um very like it, it got clearer and clearer by the day I don't think it combats acne or pimples or breakouts or prevents that. What I think it does is if you do have like acne scars or freckles or melasma, it does help lighten that out. It doesn't take it out all the way, obviously, not in the first try, um, but I think in continuous use that can probably go away, but also you still also have to do other things to not make it worse because this is only trying to combat what's there, but if you're still sun tanning and exposing yourself to the sun without any sunscreen, then all of those things could get worse. Um, or you're using other products or like touching your face all the time and making you break out again. So this will not combat new things, but it will like try to help whatever is already existing. Um, it's very light. It has like a citrusy smell to it. Like a very fresh, very expensive lemon. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it smells like a lemon in Whole Foods. <laughs> um, so this didn't make me break out. I didn't have any negative um, complaints about this. Um, initially, my first complaint was like, this isn't really helping with like preventative measures in regards to breakouts and pimples and acne. And then I read more about it. It's not supposed to. <laughs> So, um, that was just an imagination in my head. Um, this is really, really good. And if you are looking for something that would lighten your skin, um, especially if you have like scars or melasma or freckles and you want to lighten those out, this can definitely help. Again, when you're using something that is a brightening or a lightening or a whitening product, always, always stay away from the sun. And if you have to go under the sun, please do use a really good sunscreen because not every sunscreen is actually legit and actually can work. Like I've, I've tried some sunscreens and some can be good and some can be not really there. It just feels like you're applying a layer of nothing and you still burn or you still get effects of sun. So, you know. Trial and error, but anyway, um, anything, again, anything that says exfoliating, brightening, whitening, lightening, anything like that, they're pretty much in the same realm in the sense of your skin is going to be very, very sensitive. So be cautious of your skin. Um, it says it's supposed to help with like eye bags. I didn't really notice that at all um and also i didn't really i didn't really think 
that it was working in that area so I really didn't keep doing it maybe if I did keep doing it for months then maybe that would be okay I did use this in the colder months I did not use this in the summer I used this um I think I think fall spring and winter this is not hydrating as it's um if because I did use this in the late spring as well. Um, it's still not hydrating for my skin during the day for that. And I have very, very dry skin. So that's one thing. Very dry skin, um, sensitive, acne prone. And for this one, even, um, even during the day, I need something extra. Um, it is a sleeping mask, so it's not supposed to be for the day, but I did try it out for the day Because usually when I've tried um, other sleep mask They usually give you like that extra boost of um, hydration But this one I still do need a hydrating moisturizer or something that's hydrating for me during the day um, I because I loved actually using this twice a day. I did actually use this twice a day a lot. Even though it keeps saying it's a sleeping mask, I didn't really care. I was able to use it twice a day. Still needed extra for hydration. Um, at night, um, I believe I was using a few other products with it in regards to just the moisturizer. I was probably using an extra one or two moisturizers with this. This wasn't just enough. Um, but the good thing about with this and most uh, most K-Beauty products is that they don't really pill. So you can pack on how many moisturizers you want. I think at some point I tried like four moisturizers on top of each other and it never pilled. That's how amazing K-Beauty is from my experience. Um, so I do highly recommend this if you're interested in whatever it claims it's going to do because it really does do it. Aside from the moisturizing, which I didn't really feel like it did that, and the eye bags, everything else when it comes to radiance, um, brightening, revitalizing, <laughs> all of that, um, and quick absorbing formulation, all of that is legit. So I do recommend it if you are good with all of that and you wake up like your your skin is just like i feel like a fairy princess <laughs> um so i do recommend it it's it's a really really good moisturizer and um it's lightweight though so don't expect it to be as is and i would really suggest if um i would really suggest if you have the same skin as me to um use something else with it maybe before or after whatever make sure you have a backup because this is this was not enough for me i cannot really attest if you have oily or very oily skin because i do not have oily or very oily skin and if you have very oily or, or oily skin um i like i said i can't really share if you can only get away with this one the entire year or you need something else so I give this a two thumbs up and actually a five out of five stars. I really, really love this sleeping mask or moisturizer. Love, love, love. Love. Um, if you've used this product and you want to share your experience, make sure you also share your skin concerns as well as your skin type and um, your skin issues. And let me know if you liked it, loved it, hated it, disliked it, whatever, whatever your reaction might be. I would love to hear um, other people's you know experience with it as well because um everybody is going to be slightly different and um you never know we're going to have the same type of skin concerns skin type and skin goals and um this might be like really bad for you but it was really really great for me so let me know down below in the comment section thank you guys so much for the love and support i love hearing from you guys all the time thank you and i'll see you guys again next time